Atasante everyone, my name is Aristeri Pantoa Baraka Jr. from Edger Section B and I'm here to discuss my report. The spirit and the soul. The spirit in Hebrew language is Ruach or Theoma. In Greek, which means breath. It is part as through which all life and power. So in our discussion, we call the spirit to or Ginihawa. Here in our country, we call the spirit or Ginihawa. We all, we all know that every one of us have a spirit. And somebody says that if a person died, then their body must be separated into two, just like their body and their spirit. And the next is the breath of life. The Bible said that the soul is the animus aspect of the person which signifies the spiritual principle in him. According to the Bible, the person that signifies the spiritual principle called breath of life it means that a person is still alive, it's because of the soul soul that the body becomes alive. For example, just like what for example of us, just like what I've said lately, if the person died and their body must separate into two, I mean their spirits and their body, then the person was already dead. Because the person's also alive, it's because of the spiritual souls that the body becomes alive. It's because of that we stay alive. Again, we call the Filipino traditional of soul. We consider the traditional understanding of Filipino communities in the, our discussion of the soul since this is the key to understanding ourselves at present. We call it past as people, which still has traces to this context. The soul and the spirit are interchangeably, but Filipinos are different. Actually, when I was young, I also think that spirits and soul is one. Yes, because from the word spirit and soul is one, but in some reason they are different. According to the book of Demetrio and according to our indigenous people, I mean the Filipino, the Kalalua in Tagalog and also called Kararwa, Kadradua, are all comes from the root word Dua, which means two. This is because the soul has two existence, one in physical that is connected to the human body or in life, and another is spiritual or exist by its own. So in our discussion, we call Karadua or Kalad. Here in the Philippines, we what we call multilingual because we have so many languages that we have here in the Philippines that sometimes we cannot understand each other. In Tagalog, the soul called Kalolowa. I know that every one of us know that and we are familiar with that. The next from the Bagus Bos, they call Gimokud. Well, for me, I have I don't familiar of that word, but there they call the soul. The Bukidnos, they have what we call Macau. The Ilocanos is Kadal Kadua inside the body, and the Ilongos they have called Duman if the person is alive, and the Kalag if the person is dead. The Visayans do one work power for the Cebuanos and soul is preferred to as Kalua and the more past Karadua or Kalago. Another, we have what we call Karadua. So according to the book of Demetrio, that use of Mariano Gatan, the term Karadua is for Ibanag soul, which has the role of giving direction and wellness to the mind that the body can still alive independently and of the soul while the soul itself. Even when separate from the body, experiences materials and need it. It's because your habits, your experiences, you will miss it when you are separated from your body. I mean, if the person died, your soul and your body must be separated. Furthermore, the person is frightened 
that it can only what it's the body while the body remains alive. Another term that we discuss is mga gapaw. Here in the Philippines, we have a traditional thing that we do, or what we call the mga gapaw. It is a ritual thing that performed to mute the soul to return the body. It is also happening in our society that many people, especially for the young girls, that they say na humihiwalay daw yung kaluluwa sa katawan. And this is also the thing that we do here in our society, which is the mga that to return the spirit to the body. But for some reason, there's nothing happen or the person is already dead or I don't know if it's true or not but in our traditions that is true but for now generations I have nothing to see that if the spirits separate to your body and do through this ritual, the spirit, the spirit must return to your body. The last, we have what we call Duman. This is not usually seen by the human eye. For the Elongus and Cebuano sometimes came out of the body and takes on visible form, such as of an insect like housefly or even a lizard. Actually, last year, I, no magno November yon, napansin namin na merong pumasok na butterfly sa bahay namin at dumapo siya sa picture ni Lola. At doon namin na, na pansin na si Lola yon at nagpapahiwatig siya na maalala namin siya. Kasi dumapo siya sa picture niya mismo noon. The Duman may leave the body voluntarily as when a person is asleep. Accordingly to the Visayans, when a person can see himself from his dreams, it means that his other self left the body. Actually, I, I experienced that. When I was young, I see myself running and... I was full in a uh, of what we call napakataas na balloon and I don't think that is true but I think it's it is also a dream. I have no idea if my spirit left my body just like what they say. Only with the soul has set the return home would the owner be able to wake up? Kaluwa or Duman departs from the body and so there's a need to call back the soul by saying come back, come back soul, return your home body and the child must be okay and normal again. Well, for me, I don't think that it's true but that if you separate, I mean, if the person separate their um, spirits or soul in their body you can return by saying come back come back soul or come back to your home body the moment the kalalo or the duman joins the body and also we have another departure of the soul happens when it is lured or captured by the body spirit so in canto yes i believe that i believe spirits and Encanto. There's many people that because of this. It's because Encanto loves you. That's why gumagawa sila ng paraan para makuha ka. Or you have something to do that you have something to do wrong with them that you need to pay. Kailangan mong bayaran sa kanila. For example, nagambala mo sila, may kutasira mo yung bahay nila. Pero kung nagawang mali sa kanila, kailangan mong bayaran. So that's all, I'm Aristide P. Baracal Jr. from Hebrew Section B, and this is my report. Thank you so much, thank you so much.